Hello everyone, Find Me in LA here. Today's video is going to be all about Not Scary Farm, particularly the event they had called Nightmares Revealed. This little event was put together by the people at Knott's and was made specifically for hardcore Scary Farm fans. The first part of the event consisted of a presentation where they would reveal all the mazes, shows, scare zones, plus more that would be featured at this year's Scary Farm, which just so happens to be its 50th year. So you already know it's going to be something really special. Here are some of the highlights of that presentation. We have the depths. <laughs> Following the steps of a doomed mining team as you plunge deeper and deeper into the catacombs beneath the sinister seaside town. Your only chance of escape is a treacherous path through a sunken ship into the dark unknown that lies beyond. Wax on, wax off, waxworks! There it is. Buy a ticket and make your way into the most amazing wax museum in the world has ever seen. Waxworks, a sinister figure, has been tinkering at night. The screams of his victims have been drowned out by a cauldron of bubbling wax in waxworks. Dark entities. Beam aboard a shattered space station for a zero gravity descent into chaos. Because in space, no one can hear you die. Make sure to see this maze because this will be its final year. Final year. One last chance. Are you ready to bring back Origins? The Curse of Calico. This is the Wilderness Dance Hall and step back in time to Origins. Sarah Marshall has been branded a witch by the townsfolk, and you're about to take a journey in her footsteps. All will be revealed as the Green Witch curses those who have accused her. And it's open tonight with a lights on tour, baby. Step into Mesmer and be amazed by the power of the mind. A hypnotic session with Professor Mesmer can cure all phobias, including snakes, spiders, darkness, and much more. Enter the professor's dark world of hypnosis and come face to face with what lies beyond. Bloodline, 1842. Enter the war-torn streets of the steampunk Neil Victorian city of Valdonia in Bloodline 1842. Vampires have destroyed the city. Armed with only your wits this time, you must find the remaining daybreakers and help them destroy the Vampire King. The last stand is here and it's up to you. The Grimoire. <laughs> Turn the pages of a mysterious book that has the power to destroy the world. Escape the demonic hellhounds and the evil creatures that the Grimoire has released, or have your soul eternally trapped in its pages. We'll let you decide. Yeah. The Grimoire. The lesson is don't read, kids. Roll it. Cinema Slasher! Take in a fright-filled flick at the Midnight Theater, but you may find yourself in a starring role. Venture through the screen itself and into the movie worlds of the Cinema Slasher. Will you make it to the sequel or wind up another victim of the Midnight Theater? Shh! The movie's starting, and it's gonna be a killer one. Coming to memory lane, it's room 13. A dangerously addictive new cocktail named the Devil's Elixir lies at the blood red heart of the Blind Tiger murders. But where did it come from? Check into the extravagant Argive Hotel where you may find the answers. Or you may not be found at all. The Ten Chilling Chambers. Anybody remember that one? probably need back medicine then. To celebrate our 50th anniversary, we are debuting the modern version, last up of the new mazes, The Chilling Chambers. But don't take my word for it. Please welcome the murderous maniac who presides over the chamber itself, The Keeper. Hiya, fringies. It's so great to be back home here. And not scary far. 
crank up that fog. Because it's time for me to open my chamber doors. Inside, you'll see nightmares of 50 years of Halloween hearts. Let me hear you. It will be performing three times a night at the Walter Knott Theater. This production will take you on a sexy, scintillating, and provocative musical journey, celebrating 50 years of terror, frights, and laughter. It's based upon some of your favorite mazes and entertainment offerings throughout the past 50 years. Oh, I am the conductor. That's great, Mr. Conductor. I was just wrapping up. the way. It is the key to opening the portals. Once he starts talking, he doesn't stop. Just go ahead. Just finish. My lantern interacts with the sights and the sounds of scary fog, providing a beacon in the darkness that unlocks secrets and mysteries. So yeah, after the presentation, people can walk around the streets of Ghost Town with scare actors in them, with all the fog, with all the lighting that we all know and love during Not Scary Farm. There were a lot more like festivities and offerings that you could be a part of during the event. And it was like very overwhelming for me. So I literally just followed the crowd. And whatever the big crowd was going, I was going to follow. And it turns out I ended up going to the Legacy Store, which is the first thing that I did at the event after the presentation. It was located right next to the Waxworks Maze. And I'm not going to lie, I ended up waiting a good 30 minutes just to get inside of the store. But I can't lie, as soon as I walked in, it did not disappoint. Everything was just so well decorated and there was so much cool memorabilia from all the 50 years of Not Scare Farm. If you're a big history buff or if you're just like a really big fan of the history and legacy of all the Halloween haunts in general, then I really do recommend checking this store out. Not just to buy anything, even if you're not going to buy anything, just going inside of it is like really worth checking out because of all the set pieces that they have around and all the easter eggs they have everywhere and around the store. Not only does the Lexi store have a bunch of t-shirts and spirit jerseys and board games and all the typical stuff that you find at merchandise stores, but they also have the special interactive lanterns that they're offering for the first time this year. So basically what the lantern does is that it unlocks all these kind of cool special interactions all over the park. So not not just in the streets but in the mazes as well and all the other offerings that they do and like even the shows as well like they have little interactions or like little cool mysteries or hidden gems or secrets or easter eggs that you can discover and they only cost $39.99 I didn't get one that night but I will most likely be purchasing it at the actual event now as cool as I found the actual legacy store and how all the merchandise and all the set decor and everything I thought was really cool and I really liked and really enjoyed I did have an issue with all the lines. Not only did I wait 30 minutes just to get inside of the store, but there was a long, long line forming for the register. Like, it looked like a good, like, 30 minutes. And there was, like, a little mini line as well, like, at another register, but that was it. There were only two registers open from, like, what I saw. But I am gonna cut them some slack since it's a brand new store, and I guess, like, all the people that were in charge of, like, operating everything, they were still finding their footing, and they were still working out the kinks, and, like, it was basically, like, a test run of how the store was gonna be handled. So as soon as I got out of the Legacy store, I was kind of glad that that was the first thing that I did, because I saw that the line 
was reached all the way to the exit of Ghost Rider. And I thought it was very interesting that this had the longest line out of everything at the Nightmares Revealed event the whole night. Not the food offerings, not the drinks, not the photo ops, not even the lights on tour. This had the longest line, which really caught me off guard. I mean, I understand people want to get first dibs of all the exclusive merch and stuff, but me personally, I'm not that kind of shopper, so I don't rush into stores like that. And besides, the Legacy Store isn't the only place where you can buy the Special Lantern. They sell them all over the park as well. But because the line for the Legacy Store was super long, the lines for all the other stuff were super short, like straight up walk-ons. And also, because it has such a short time period, I didn't really get to do everything that I wanted. I did Ghost Rider, but I didn't do Pony Express. I tried one of the drinks at the Calico Saloon, but I didn't try any of the food offerings. They also had a photo op that I wanted to do, but I didn't get the chance to do it because the line was too long. But thankfully, there was like some operations people like cutting off the line every time it was starting to get a little too long. So crowd control wise, that's a win. So I got the Devil's Elixir, which is a um, lemon liqueur with vodka and lemonade. Now supposedly this is the concoction that the people at the Goring 20s sell. This is what they drink. So yeah, as y'all just saw, I just tried a specialty drink, Devil's Elixir, really good. I also did catch a glimpse of what looked to be some kind of like trivia game, which I thought was really nice and cute. And at that same stage, a little later, I saw a makeup demonstration. But in my honest opinion, the main highlights of the night for me were all the stuff involving the behind the scenes, you know, the making of Not Scary Farm. Not only were guests allowed to look at all the storyboards and concept art of all the brand new mazes that were going to be featured at this year's Scary Farm, but you actually get to chat with the actual creative designers of the mazes. It's really interesting to actually chat with the madmen behind all these mazes and, you know, like discuss with them like what the thought process was of actually designing these mazes and stuff. It was really cool. And I also got the chance to check out the lights on tour of Origins, The Curse of Calico, which I'm about to show right now. Next up is the lights on tour of Origins. Now this is Origins, The Curse of Calico with the lights on. As you can see, they got the props, got the sets. But no scare actors. Precious calico falls to damnation. And what's really cool about the lights on tour is that you can actually see every little detail you normally wouldn't see during regular knocks. It's really cool. Just love the details, they're so cool. See, all the special effects are off too. Still got fog. Awesome. 
Yeah, normally Sarah Marshall's here like swinging and stuff, but it's cool to see like all the rakes. It is almost 9.45, which means I am on my way to the Calico stage to see the final part of the Nightmares Revealed event. Sir Marshall, you are accused of a crime of witchcraft. How do you plead? Not guilty! I'm a witch! Hey! You must see that what you are doing is wrong! I'm innocent! You have no proof! We have proof! Our crops have failed! Our children are missing! You are to blame! As judge and lawman of the town of Calico, I sentence you to hang by the neck until you are dead. That's something to say, witch! <laughs> concludes Nightmares Revealed for Not Scary Farm 50th anniversary. Overall, top-notch event. I really enjoyed myself. Right before you leave the park, they give you two free goodies. One is a pin, which seems to be like a smartphone, and another is this really cool poster with really cool artwork. I am definitely gonna get that framed. And uh, yeah, that just about does it for this video. I am most definitely gonna check out Not Scary Farm this year, especially for its 50th anniversary. And yes, I will be doing a vlog. And if you wanna check that out, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also subscribe if you're just a fan of anything scary, spooky, Halloween-y. I got a lot of videos coming up in the next couple weeks, so be sure to check that out. I'm gonna be doing things involving knots, Halloween Horror Nights, just anything Halloween related, be sure to be on the lookout for videos like that in the next couple weeks. If you want to follow me on social media, the links to my socials will all be in the description. If you stick around to the very end of the video, thank you so much for watching, and until then, see you all in the fog.